Hi, I'm Parth. And I'm Vipin. So we are working on a project for our uh, advanced microcontroller class and that is based on Simulink MATLAB and we are trying to build a Lorentz first, first order differential solver on a MATLAB sim using Simulink. So for this... But, but running with the back end on the FPGA. Yes, yes we, okay. we, uh, we are running it on the FPGA which is Altera's uh, Terrasic SO, uh, DE1 SOC. Mm -hmm. So to run this we had to get a couple of softwares uh, in line like uh, we had to install the MATLAB uh, which is the 18 uh, MATLAB 18 or 17 version it couldn't uh, support the older versions and also besides we had to get the co HDL coder installed the embedded coder package and also a licensed quarters so uh, the trial or evaluation version of the quarters doesn't support the MATLAB and that is it like I think Vipin can show the model that we have built so what you're trying to do here is an alternate workflow for generating HDL to run on FPGs so basically we have done the same Lorenz OD solver as part of our coursework where we coded the entire thing using Verilog and in this case we are using a model based approach for designing the exact same thing so this is the overall view of um, the system which is Simulink which is in Simulink and the subsystem that we show here is the one that is going to actually get synthesized and be running on the FPGA. So these are just uh, interfaces for setting parameters and seeing the outputs. So, so the actual way it works is like the parameters are sent over to the arm running on FPGA through an Ethernet interface. The uh, ARM core, the HPS basically sends those parameters to the FPGA which runs the internal subsystem and then takes the feedback from there and uh, feeds it to the MATLAB over the Ethernet interface. So when we go inside this uh, module we have basically got, it's a, it's a triggered system inside this which we are basically taking all sorts of parameters and giving the outputs. We have a dual reset system here. We, we can say reset the system from both the simulink as well as from FPGA. So uh, that gives control from either side. So this is the actual model for a Lorentz ODE solver. You can see that the parameters are basically sigma, rho, and beta, and then some initial values for the outputs, which is x0, y0, and z0. We also have uh, DT, which is basically the solver time for Euler integrators. So the basic composition of these of the module is multipliers and adders, and the one major component is an accumulator, uh, which uh, which you, which you use to make an Euler integrator. Which we make yeah, an Euler mm -hmm. integrator in, mm -hmm. inside. So the accumulator basically takes the value, keeps adding it until. Uh, it resets when it resets so uh, it takes the initial value okay so going back into the system so this is the highest level so you can uh, see how this model is actually generated you can see the tool flow for doing that basically we're using the HDL workflow advisor uh, so we need to select the subsystem that we want to generate So on. So what's happening now is that you're 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 using the HDL coder to to write some Verilog based upon that Simulink. Yes, we're uh -huh. basically doing an IP core generation. Uh -huh. And like the, there are like several steps over here. So it generates like we select the IP IP core platform which is Terrasic, and like it's uh, like we are getting some problem over here because. Some we have not settings. set up the tool path first. Yeah. I mean, so we, this is a basic workflow where we are actually. Yeah, and we get this uh, generated file. Okay, so you so you have to get by get an interface file. So, uh, so basic thing is you need to add the uh, the link up the cortex mm -hmm. to the MATLAB so that it knows where the mm -hmm. file is. That's what it's saying, saying that it, there is no tool link to, link to it and then just add the MATLAB path where the okay. basic QSIS file for it is available. 
so like, after we are done with the entire setup we get this uh, uh, generated simulink file so now here you're showing the control panel uh, yeah. of uh, the user control panel after you've gotten the thing compiled okay so what you see in blue is what is actually generated generated for the FPGA generated for the FPGA and mm -hmm. then we cannot go in and see it because it's right. a SQL thing and you cannot run it you can only run right. it on the FPGA okay so to simulate this we run this thing in the external mode with an infinite time so yeah and what to see the outputs what uh, the all the inputs are set up using uh, knobs here and then we have got uh, three channel scope here hooked up to see the outputs plus uh, 3d graph plot okay let's see the uh, output run this thing it takes a little bit of time to compile to actually set up all the uh, communication between MATLAB and FPG. These are the plots for the three outputs, the X, Y, Z outputs, and that's a 3D plot for this. So to get it started, we need to hit the reset. Yeah. That's a reset. So this is almost running like a hardware in the loop simulation where the controls are all in the simulate and the simulink, and the actual code is running on the FPGA. So you can see here if you see change the solve time for. Uh, the OD solver, like the oil integrator, mm -hmm. the, how the waveform changes mm -hmm. here as well as there. You can actually have change all these parameters. See the observation. Okay. Yeah. So, so you can. So you have you have control from the from MATLAB. You have display in MATLAB. And all the calculation is going on on the FPGA. Yeah. So all the parameters that you're currently controlling through MATLAB, we can have half of them there and half of them through switches here. So in this particular case, we have just done the map the reset switch here. So yeah. So you hit the reset, and that's what that that line is there, and now it's oscillating. It goes again. to reset value and then. Right. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Yeah.